Hello, and today I have a replay sent in from Roll Katsuki. And then a taco. So we are on the map, Defensive Naval Station. And we, he has Fabeda, Alabama, Turpets and Bismarck, a Baltimore, and the Tier 6, uh, another one cruiser. Kijuan. Yeah, Kijuan, I believe. So we'll see how he does. I mean, as we all know, Togo is just an amazing ship. But we'll see how he does. If he's learned things from watching me, am I a Togo? Then I think he'll do pretty well. So, according to this, his detectability is 15 kilometers. So, he's not stealth. So, that tells me that he's doing something with a lighthouse build. He's using DPM. And Otago does need it. Taking little pot shots and everything, it's knocking his health away, but he should be okay. At that angle, though, he can AP the con the Kuma, though. Yeah, if you've got like two or three millimeter guns, even 152s, and you're at this kind of angle, if at least around 30 degrees. Uh, you just overmatch Sakuma everywhere. He has no armor against you. No, he is getting some nice plane kills, though. Up oh, there's the AP. Nice 10,000k strike. Not bad. Got a nice, nice, good strike there. What was that, around like 15K? Does he pick up this kill? Yes, he picks up the kill. I, I shouldn't have doubted it. Now, the spawns are going to be easy. It's going to be from D, from the 10 line, to the 5 line, and then to the 1 line. It's going to be an easy one. It's not going to be like where it's in the middle, then it jumps to one side or the other, then back to the middle. So the kid you would have is very gutsy being out here being a tier six, but we'll see how long he lasts. Again, having that full detectability means that he is not going to be going dark. I think I know what he's going to do. Like you know how I have a funny. Uh, every player that plays this map continuously and plays ops has a very particular way of playing each map. And I think I know what he's going to do. And if it's what I think he's going to do, it's going to work out beautifully. Now remember, if he gets hit by the Congo or anything, or the Baron at this angle, uh, he is going to still get Citadel. So he still has to be careful. Gets a permafire on that Congo. The Beta is going in on it, but he's not even the best of luck. Again, I, as you know, I really recommend putting the CV where the Baltimore is, right on that island. And that was the Citadel. That... That hurt. That actually really hurt. Fifteen thousand. I know how that. I know how that feels.
Get the fire Baron DCPs. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any fires burning, so that's unfortunate. Now, if he was in, say, his byard, he'd be having, he'd have fires going like crazy. I know. I do wish his team was a little bit more aggressive. I mean, the battleships could easily push this side, push into these guys. Like, and now the third wave spawning, which is no blame out. Now the Fubuki does have torps loaded, so he's only going to get a, maybe one or two salvos. And he's got to make it count. Oh yeah, he made that count. Kujuin picks it up. Kudos to him. I think I know what he's going to do. It does work, but I just wish his team was more aggressive. I mean, as you can see, they've just been sitting in that repair circle and that whole in that circle for like the past last like what? What do we have? 7 minutes now. And the turrets and everything could literally have charged those battleships. Would have made it a lot easier. And the third wave's almost at the halfway point, which is not pretty. Okay, he is starting to take fire from the Miyoko and the cruisers. I would have kept the AP loaded personally, but that's just me. Pops his second heal. And they do finally get that cruiser out. He is trying to get just the right angle to get that torp tube up. Although he's going to have to do a lot more broadside for that. If that was say a Bayard or any other cruiser, it would have armed. He could have armed it. Now he's going to have to go completely broadside to get two sets, so he's only going to get one shot off on this. Otherwise, he's really in a bad spot. I pray he gets it on, but we'll see. One torp. Damn. And, like, if he had just waited just a few minutes or a few more seconds, he. It would still be horrible if the Miyoko managed to knock out that Torp 2. He does get it before it's able to load AP and hit his side, though. So, that's great. I wouldn't even. I would just drop torps on the DDs. That's easy. Mucho gracias. A oh, you gotta be joking me. Drop it, drop it, drop it. So he does pick up natural selection. He's at 200 and 3,000 at climbing. 
And Katsuki, well, he's going to be nowhere near done yet. I really hope they get that DD out. His engine still is busted. It's still moving. Okay. Bye. Bye. And the guns are looking at him. And he does pick it up. what I thought he would do. He's going in for a uh, torp rush. Now, one torp set, and we're talking like a, like we're talking point blank, like one set has to hit each cruiser. Should kill each and every cruiser. And he's got to literally wait till he's practically broadside to each of them because he needs to keep that, all those torp tubes off. He doesn't have the health to... Yep, there goes the first one, and there goes the second one. Yep, beautiful. If there is a double strike, that would be a double strike. He just crossed the 318k mark. I gotta admit, Kak... Katsuki knows how to clean up these reinforcement cruisers. And he's doing exactly what I thought he would do. As you all know, like, I do the funny, this is what he does. Bad news is he's... Oh, that actually really hurt. And he's out of heels. So... If he gets one more salvo on him, he's a no bueno. Oh, there's a shell. Oh, is that going to be his death? Oh, he's so lucky. Like, we're talking real lucky. Like, if that had been a fire, um, or double fire, he would have, well, died. As we can see, you know, the conserving the health thing, when he took that 15k Citadel hit, uh, that really hurt him. And really took away a lot, two thirds of his offensibility power. But he's up to nine kills. And 345k. Looks like three torps. Ooh, nice. Just misses it though. Just misses it. But that is a perma flood. And picking up Ray in a non mines on. Well. New Newport, not easy. Oh, damn you, Kijuin. Oh, we got the Musashi that's, we got, oh, is, oh, Bismarck. Tut, tut, tut. Yeah, he was going to go for a drive-by on the Missouri, but he got torped instead. Well, damn for him.
No, it, he's just trying to burn the, Mus the Musashi down. Although I'm pretty sure the CV is farming him down. Battle ends in five minutes. But the fact that he's literally crossed the 400k mark. I don't think we can find a better display of a Tago. Nope, so he gets the fire. Is he going to get the kill? He might get the kill. Oh, and he picks up the kill. 10 kills, folks. And 420k. The Kijuan's having a really hard time hitting his airstrikes, which is unfortunate, but understandable. Airstrikes take learning and take time to get used to. Well, that Nagato is burning. I think I counted, what, four fires on that thing now? At least three. Let's look at its health. Yeah, it's going down really fast. Oh, okay, now that's four fires. And 11 kills! 11 kills, 435k. Natural selection and Ray. Beautiful display of a toggle, folks.